Hey guys, Key here from Kegland, and talking to you about our fob detectors. Now, fob detectors are normally used in bars when uh, you basically uh, um, got, them and got your keg systems connected to them. And uh, when your keg runs out, normally what you get is this sort of foam starting to go through the beer lines. And if you've got really long beer lines, it means that foam can go all the way through the beer lines and then you get all this wasted beer in the beer lines. Um, so often what uh, bars do is they'll get one of these fob detectors and they'll put that in place. So when this uh, little float here sinks, it basically shuts the flow of beer. So that means that they don't have, so when the keg runs out, it shuts the flow of beer and no foam goes into the lines. Now. You're probably wondering why am I bringing this up this now? It's because a few of you guys on the forum have asked, uh, well, how can we use these um, for pushing sanitizer from one keg to another and then shut the flow off automatically? They're not actually built or intended to do this, but so many guys these days want to sanitize their kegs and they want to purge the oxygen out of the keg. And the best way to do that is to actually put the sanitizer right up to the brim in a spare keg you've got and then push that sanitizer from one keg to another keg and then using something like the fob detector to shut the flow off as soon as the, uh, the, the receiving keg's full and this one's empty. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, the fob detectors we've got these days are all uh, duotype compatible. So you've got a nine and a half millimeter or a three eighths duotype, which just pushes straight on here. This keg I've got absolutely full to the brim with sanitizer. So I get the disconnect uh, for this one. And because this is full of sanitizer, because uh, this is full of sanitizer, I put this on the outside here. Uh, then I've also got a gas disconnect here. Obviously you need gas to push it across. So this is my CO2. And then I put this on the inside here. And then you can see the lens here has just started to fill up a little bit. So it's not quite full. It's sort of the pressure's equalized. So what I'm gonna do is push this button on the top here. Now I've got nothing connected to this hose. Normally you'll have a bit of hose connecting this to a drain or something like that, or somewhere where it's not gonna spray out inconveniently. <laughs> Luckily we've got nobody standing over there. So. I can just press that and it just shoots off into, 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 the, into the roller door. Um, then, it, uh, then I've got the out here and I connect this uh, here to the other keg I've got. Yeah, so what I've done on this keg is I put a little bit of gas in this receiving keg. So there's a tiny bit of pressure already in here. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm using a foaming sanitizer. Now you don't have to use a foaming sanitizer, but um, yeah, you can use, because I'm completely displacing all of the uh, air and filling this right to the brim, I don't need the surfactants in uh, the Stella sand necessarily. You can just use straight phosphoric acid, for instance. But uh, to stop that splashing and foaming I get, just when that first litre or so goes into the keg, I'm basically going to put some head pressure in here to, to prevent that foaming up. So I've got the disconnect hooking it up onto the out of this keg even though it's going in, so it's going down the dip tube in other words. Once I get about a litre in here, I'm just gonna fully open the pressure release valve and I can walk away and it'll basically just do itself. So uh, to get the process started, I've got everything hooked up here. As you can see, yeah, it's got a bit of pressure in there. Then I go to this button here and I press this down and you can see the flow starts and then what I do is pull this back out again so it's primed. Alrighty, as you can see, it's just shut itself off. I haven't had to do anything and this keg is full of sanitizer and this one's completely empty. So this one's ready for me to fill up with beer. So I just disconnect that. And this has been perfectly purged of oxygen as well. So there you go. See you guys.